Oh no, we've cracked the D Max. This week we review our 2016 Isuzu D Max. And after five years, we finally broke it. guys welcome to a new episode now this week's a bit different uh, we've had a lot of questions um, about the D-Max and a lot of people asking to do a review on it so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> so <laughs> stick with us we actually have cracked maxi um, which is gonna be the thumbnail of this episode but if you want to hear what's going on with that uh, you have to wait till the end or just fast forward to the end, either one. <laughs> but um, yeah, here we go. This is the review of our 2016 Isuzu D Max. Woohoo! Don't mind the kids, they're going to be around. They're Can't get rid of them. Running a mark. All right, so this is Maxi. We've had him from brand new. We picked him up from Coffs Harbour, New yep. South Wales, and we've had him before we had kids, and he was just stock standard. Nothing, nothing added, nothing done to him yet. And over the last five years, he's finally got to where he is now. <laughs> yeah. We have had done a video on that. Uh, we'll put it in the description. We're not gonna bother you with that because that's not what this video is about. But yep. yeah, uh, we'll slowly done it up and um, we'll show you where this car has taken us over the last five years to show you sort of what torture uh, we put it through so we can do a proper review on it. Yeah. I think we've um, qualified to give a good review on Izuzu. All right, Finny won't stop crying, so he's in it with us. <laughs> <laughs> so this car has taken us all over Australia. Um, some of the just the, the, the hot spots, like this car's done a Cape York trip where we spent six weeks up north, and uh, we did the Frenchman's track, uh, we did the Heli -track. Telegram <laughs> Heli track. Um, we did a whole heap of stuff up there. Pen, we went out to the Pennyfather River. Um, we'll put some clips up now to show you, but um, yeah, six weeks up there, total isolation. Maxi didn't miss a beat. A lot of four driving up there, and we towed the towed our little caravan all the way up the PDR through through like hundreds of kilometres of corrugations there and back, and. Um, yeah, yeah, did well up <laughs> It Can't did. fault it. Can't fault all. it at all. Where else have we been? Yeah, the Gulf. So that was one of one of our most recent trips through the Gulf. And holy moly was that yeah. an experience. The roughest <laughs> roads we have ever driven on. Yeah. It was good. It was good. Towing the caravan in, uh, like it's all dirt road, there's four drive sections. Full dust holes. Full dust. The hull works. And do you know what? Did anything happen? Nothing happened through that trip. No, not to the car, not at no. all. Oh, the only thing with the car, and it's not even Maxie's fault, was a dual battery failure, but um, that's yeah. not Maxie's fault at all. Yeah, it was just incredible. What a trip. But yeah, Max held up through it all and towing this big, <laughs> big van behind it. Yeah, and some of the other places we've been, we've been through all central Australia, like Uluru, out that way, the McDonald Ranges. Flinders Ranges, we've done the Udenatta track. Yeah. Um, we've done a lot of off-road um, towing, especially towing with this thing. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think we're just qualified to give a good review on it. And this is an honest review, because if it's shit, we'll tell ya. Um, <laughs> he will. <laughs> but I, we really don't think that's the case with this car. Um, and hence the reason we've still got it. Yeah, definitely. All right. What we love about Maxi, so many things, but my my top things is he, the first one is he is reliable. Touch a bit of wood. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is all we wanted in a car, and you know what, Maxi has lived up to that. Reliable, yeah. he's taken us everywhere where we wanted to go, and fingers crossed, hasn't failed us yet. Yeah, they've got that um, the super reliable um, engine in these cars, they're renowned for it. So. Yeah. Um, another thing I like, it's super, super simple inside, very basic, 
and like not much can go wrong, yeah. I guess. There's no carpet, it's all vinyl, so yeah. just oh. wipe it out. So if you're planning to have kids and you want a D-Max, I would say <laughs> no carpet. <laughs> yeah. Another thing is it's just super simple electronically. Um, we're lucky, I don't think they're like that now, but when this car's a 2016 model, so it doesn't have many electronics in it, um, which is good for your off-road, um, and if anything's wrong, I can generally sort of fix it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we find, I mean, we don't know anything else, but we find it comfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, we've done a suspension, a few things like that, yeah. but yeah, it's comfortable. I guess it's just basic. Um, reliable. Simple, reliable, and that's what when you're doing the sort of traveling we're doing, that's what you want. And that's what we like. We like simple. <laughs> Keep it simple. All right, next, what we don't like. What don't you like about Max? Um, I don't, there's not too much, I guess. Um, no, I can't even think of one to be honest. No. Look, I, we'll come back to that. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot think of anything I don't like about it. Mm. Like, put it this way, if we oh, weren't touring God. or Maxi failed, mm. I would like to get another one of you. Put it that way. It's a big call. So it is a big call and I yeah. stand by it. <laughs> Can't think of anything on that one yet. <laughs> Alright, so another thing people probably want to know is um, like the cost of the car because that's a big thing now. Mm. And services, um, we started off servicing it with the Isuzu and it was really hit and miss, the dealers. Some were really good and some were terrible. So now what we do with services is go to a, where we're, each town we're at, we just go on Google and look up for the reviews on mechanics yeah. and just take it to the one that has four or five stars. Um, and that seems to be working. Yeah. But for an average service for, for the big rig is about 500 bucks. Um, and then it's got a major service, uh, like <laughs> interval, and that's like two, ding, gra ding. two grand. But um, I suppose it's in line with a uh, um, four-wheel drive yeah. sort of. And um, we get the works done on him because we do. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to get it done, yeah. yeah. Fuel is a big one too. I guess it's along with the cost of servicing and all that. Um, we get about 12, 10 to 12 litres per 100 kilometres. Um, with the boat, with without towing in the boat and all the gear in the back, and if there's nothing in the car, we get we sit around that nine uh, liters per hundred, nine ten liters, and if we're towing, uh, we get around sixteen, and it doesn't really change um, unless there's a big headwind where we might sit about seventeen or eighteen, um, but yeah, it sits around that sixteen liters per hundred um, towing, which. From what I've heard is really good. Um, there's nothing done to this motor, so it's just a standard a standard motor. We didn't want to fiddle around with it. Um, so yeah, that's what it cost per 100 kilometers. How does it hold off-road and towing off-road? It, it handles great. Um, as if you followed us for a while, you would have seen this car's done beach driving, forward drive tracks, you know, tar driving, corrugated roads. It's done everything you could probably throw at a touring vehicle. And um, we think it's taken, Maxi's taken it in its stride. Um, yeah, um, up in the Northern Territory, there's beach driving, soft sand, um, the Gulf Country and Cape York, corrugations for days. Um, yeah, and it's just it's just held up really, really well. So, I mean, for what we want, and as a touring vehicle, I, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't go as far as what we've sort of done in it, but um, yeah, it's handled it. All right, another another thing about this car, and it's probably why we've kept it, and um, it can take a lot of load. Now, this car has had a, a GVM upgrade and a GCM um, by Lovells. And what it allows us to do is um, this car can weigh 3.6 tonne and pretty well still tow its full um, towing, so 3.5 tonne. It, its combined mass is a 7.1 7 tonne combined. Um, and that's absolutely massive for a little car. Like, compare it to your Land Cruisers, even some Rams and all that sort of thing. Um, like, we can put the, just example, the tear on this car with the canopy all the four wheel drive accessories without us in the car is 2.3 tons. So we can put 1.3 tons of gear in the canopy and the, and the boat and us. So like that is a lot, a lot. Like compare that to any other car sort of around with this, you know, this sort of setup. 
you'd be doing well to find that and still be able to tow a three and a half ton. Um, so that is a major reason why we've kept this car because of the new van coming up. Um, we need every bit of that. So that uh, that GVM GC upgrade upgrades your back back axle load, like your rear axle load, which is what a lot of people go over and is not talked about a lot when you're talking about GCM, GVM, all that. And also um, it upgrades your front axle load as well. That's how it can do what it can do. What we've broken and considering sort of some of the tracks and where we've gone, um, not a lot has. We did a transmission in Cape York, which wasn't the car's fault. We didn't raise our breathers and the transmission got a bit of water in it and started shuddering on fourth to fifth gear and um, seven grand to get that rebuilt. So yeah, that's the major thing that's gone wrong with it. Oh, we've just recently have to do a, a crank case seal, which um, costs a little bit of money. I think it was like 500 bucks to a thousand bucks sort of thing. Um, that's the only two things that's gone wrong mechanically wrong with this car the cracking um now it's not on maxi and d maxes have got uh, notorious for cracking under the the bonnet in these side panels here it's not that it's actually on the canopy we've um we've cracked in all four corners uh we've cracked the canopy uh we'll put some 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 images up there now it's only minuscule um just that, right down the weld on that one and then on the corners it hasn't actually cracked on the weld it's cracked like just there i don't know if you can see it but yeah it's all in the same spot and they're just i, I took it to the to the welder and he said they're just fatigue cracks um which like i know cracks a good crack <laughs> yeah so what we've done is um, I've got some plates made up and took it to the, wel the aluminium welder and he's welded the cracks up and then reinforced it with a few five mil plates, which hopefully is enough. He said it, um, it will be, so fingers crossed. I know Ali's a soft metal and once you continually weld it, it gets softer. So we'll see how that holds up. All right, I've got the missus back. <laughs> um, we're just gonna rattle off some top things that we think about um, Maxi. So yeah. you go first. Our opinion. Yeah, on the on Izuzu D Max, reliability. I've said it, just reliable. Yep. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Stop kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, comfort, yeah. Safety, and they're pretty good. I think they've got five star ANCAP safety rating. If you got family and all that, airbags. <laughs> yeah. So on that point, it's great. Is a car for couples, singles, and families. Perfect. It's a, it's a great all rounder. Let me. I've just told you. Go and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, go and get it, Nick. But Mum's just um, flung Lennox's Lennox's <laughs> boots over here. Go get it, Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> Stop annoying us. <her. laughs> yeah. Um, it can carry uh, 1,100 um, a lot of weight and tow a lot of weight if you do an upgrade. Yeah. They're just an all-round great car for for anything. Anything. Yeah. yeah. You can juice them up, keep them stock standard. Whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. So our honest opinion on it is great. We love it. Um, if we ever had to get rid of Maxi, I would probably cry, and I don't cry that often. Oh, <laughs> um, he's part of the family, and we wouldn't do anything without him. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions on anything regarding um, some of the upgrades or any anything at all you want to know, leave them in the comments below, and we'll we'll, we'll answer them. <laughs> all right. We're gonna wrap it up here. The kids are running a muck from us, but. Um, yeah, Alanya has some exciting news. Well, as you can see, we've got a new merch line happening. We've got to wear in our new shirts <laughs> um, with a lot more to come. So you can actually find those on our website and we'll put the link in the description. But yeah, if you want to know more about Max, um, the YouTube episodes on there and just a rundown of what's actually we have put in Max. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, yeah, go and check it out. Lenny spent a lot of hard work on it. But um, it's her little baby. And yeah, that's probably it for this episode. Yep. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any comments about the D-Max or anything. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Yep. And um, we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>